Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jelly Gray here and welcome back to another combat sports related video here today. And today we gotta discuss something, man, alright? As you can tell with the title, we will be reacting to John Jones exclusive on Francis and Gunner 2 Titans Showdown. I think it's gonna happen. Alright, so I think I can safely say and speak for all of us when I say that we have all been praying to the MMA gods for Francis Ngannou versus John Jones to come to fruition. We've been all praying. I know I have. And about a couple of weeks ago, I was down the dumps. You know why? Because I thought this wasn't going to happen. I thought that it was dead. But this title to this video gives me hope. It is by Fight Hype, a legitimate reporting a fight reporting, uh, you know, channel on YouTube. So this gives me hope. Um, it is about, a, it's only about a week old. So this is recent. We haven't seen John Jones, you know, on camera in quite some time. And this just gives me hope. So we're going to see what he has to say. But before I begin, if you enjoy any levels, greatly appreciate, you know, hit that like button, turn on bell notifications. And if you're new and you enjoy, you know, maybe this is your first time here and you mess with the kid, hit that sub button, man, because you're be part of the family forever. And it is growing. And I love you all for that. But let's not waste any more time. Screen. See what Johnny Bones has to say today. Boom, fighthype.com here with the man, the myth, the legend. I don't even need to say his name. The champ, What's John Jones. What up, champ? Champ, I, I, first of all, appreciate you giving me, what, 120 seconds? 120 seconds. 120 seconds. All right, that's all we got, so we got to get right to it. All right. You know the fight they all want to see. Yeah. Francis Ngannou. Yeah. Is it going to happen? I hope so. I hope so. Um, you know, right now, so do I. <laughs> we all do. Please, John, make it happen. Can't control, which is being in the... Come on, champ. And, um, and I think just me getting in shape sells the fight even more so. You know, people want to see two titans, you know, and Francis is already a titan, and I'm trying to become a titan, you know, so. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I want to look like a titan. I want, oh, you are? Okay, that's, that's different. I want to be the same size as this guy, if not bigger, when we get out there. So, oh, my yeah, God. Got, bigger? I got a lot of work to do. But hopefully the fight happens, you know, we just got to. That's the same. Stay focused, stay training, and see what the UFC is going to do on their part. How confident do you feel you guys will be able to get close as far as the money's concerned i think it's gonna happen i think it's gonna happen i think the ufc eventually will uh will do the right thing i think this is one of the greatest fights uh, of, of our generation and um and it definitely really it definitely to happen and i believe that it will i just it, it, it'd be a real tragedy and um It'll happen. All in good time. We're patient and like I said, just doing what we can do, control what we can control, yeah. doing our part. It's the biggest fight in the UFC, absolutely. If for some reason that does not happen, is is there a backup plan for you or there's is no, it heavyweight or bust? No, there's there's no backup plan. Um, you know, whether I'm fighting Francis for the title, whether I'm fighting Derek Lewis for the title, um, whether I'm Francis, you know, third, fourth title defense, it won't it won't really matter to me. Wow. So he's willing to wait. Champion. And uh, that's fair. The opponent really won't matter. The month won't matter. Uh, we just, we're just getting ready. We're just getting ready, and we believe like good will prevail. Is it difficult to actually get ready, not knowing? No, if it's gonna happen? no, it's not. The, the way that we're training is that's in a way where uh, you won't get burned out. You know, um, we're just doing short sessions. We're keeping it light. We're keeping it fun, and um, we're just taking our baby steps. So no, it's, it's not hard to train without a specific date. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun, actually, right now. <laughs> One last question. I think I'm at 115 seconds oh, right now. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> Am I over? Oh, <laughs> My bad. Okay. Oops. One last question. Uh -huh. Do you feel different training bigger, heavier, or, or it is feels, it about It feels awesome, man. It feels awesome to train heavy. Um, good to eat whatever I want, pretty much. And I was, I'm on a great diet right now. Um, but get to eat tons of food. A lot of rest. Heavyweight, you're heavyweight now, boy. You know, yeah, right now I'm just living like a total champ. Athlete. Just rest, hydration, eating a ton of food. You know, I'm still massage therapy. Just taking great care of myself, getting lots of hours of sleep, and um, and it feels amazing. I'm excited to compete at my full potential, going in there without a weight cut. You know, I have two brothers that are that are really big boys. And I feel like this is the guy that I was supposed to be the whole time. And wow. My wife says I look better, my face looks better, you know, she's, I feel like this is where I was supposed to be. That's always a bonus when the wife wants When the wife, yeah. Facts. Yeah, more, 
more fucking cushion. Right. Excuse <laughs> my language. But Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, she's happy with it. I'm yeah. happy with it. It feels great. My joints feel better. My knees feel better. Mm-hmm. Sleeping better. Yeah. I feel like I'm a grown man. <laughs> That's what's up. Champ, I appreciate the time. Thanks. Thank you for letting me add you to my resume of interviews. Hey, I definitely appreciate it. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to be hoping and praying we get this fight, man. I'm praying, man. Let's all pray. Let's all pray to the MMA gods. Yeah, Please. It's a pleasure to interview, you know. interview with you. I have not done an interview in a long time. But, man, your character and your presence, you seem like a great person. So it's my pleasure to, to work with you. I appreciate that, Champ. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to the fans before I let you go? Love you guys. Love all you guys, man. That's about it. Stay strong, man. All right, there you guys have that. Not much from the champ, right? Um, and when I say champ, obviously he's not the heavyweight champ, so I don't want people in the comments saying, he's not the champ. Uh, let's be honest. If he wanted to defend the title like heavyweight, he'd be the champ. Let's, let's get that out of the way. But um, moving on. We didn't get much from Johnny Bones, but there's, 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 there's just some hope now. There's hope. He said he wants it to happen. He thinks it's going to happen. Now, we're all, you know, I'm sure you all are aware of the money situation, which is the main reason why this fight hasn't been booked officially. Um, John wants a lot of money. And his lawyer, you know, after speaking to his lawyer, according to him, eight to 10 million is too low. Now, I have to be objective here. I love John. I love John. I need my favorite fighter probably of all time. But if they're talking base salary, that's not going to happen. Conor McGregor, the biggest draw in UFC history, when it, honestly, it's not even close when we're you know talking about numbers. His biggest base salary, I believe, was three million, a little over three million, I believe, against Khabib base salary. So it's out. It's absurd to ask for eight to ten million. It's truly absurd. Um, I have to be honest here. That's not going to happen. That is just not going to happen. And if that if John is really looking, and he says that's too low, by the way, he's saying that's too low. So he wants double digits in the millions, double digits. You know, ten over ten million dollars. So if he's really serious about that, my hope, it's almost gone. You know, um, I just really hope, I don't know, I don't know, um, that something happens, a miracle. Because even though I've seen this, that money situation still still seems to be looming. Still seems to be looming. So I don't know, man. Um, I'm praying. That's all we can That's all we can do is pray, you know, f- that this fight happens. Because this is... Amazing fight. This is an amazing fight. I mean, this is fucking... It doesn't get better than this. It does not. Um, now, to touch up on the fight itself, if I had to give a prediction, although it's not official and we don't know if it's going to happen, it's uh, it's very, very tough because on one side we have Francis Ngannou, a guy who's a freak of nature, who improved, we saw improve significantly against Stipe Miocic the second time and had a had a ground game um you know he sprawled and he took stipe down and beat his ass um that is the scariest i've ever seen francis even scarier than he was when then when he was knocking out you know alistair overeem yaren zeno rosenstruck he's even scarier now in my opinion calm calculated frank francis is the scariest i've ever seen him i was scared legitimately scared watching that fight for stipe and francis is a scary man all right so we have that and on the other side we have john jones the best fighter of all time, in my opinion. Okay. Um, for people that are going to give me shit about that, I trust Usada. Um, they concluded themselves that he never, all you know, the the things he tested positive for were never performance enhancing. As a, you know, as far as the Turina ball in his system, the picograms. Um, so I'm going to trust them and not the haters out there. So I'm just going to let you know right now. So, so yes, to me, he's the best of all time. Um, but um, so as far as him, He's a, probably the most well-rounded fighter ever. I mean, look look at the things he's done. Out-wrestled Daniel Cormier. Has he ever been out-wrestled besides against John Jones? Answer that. No, he hasn't. Not even against Stipe because he didn't wrestle enough against Stipe, in my opinion, in those three fights. He probably could have won maybe two out of three, in my opinion. But uh, that's that's not the top topic right now. Um, so he out-wrestled Stipe, and he's outstruck some of the best strikers in UFC history, such as Alexander Gustafsson. All right, and yes, that was a war, a close war. But the point is, John is one of the most well-rounded fighters of all time. Has a body for MMA, the length, the reach, the IQ. His IQ is off the chains, off the chains. His gas tank, I'm sure it's going to be just fine at heavyweight. Um, definitely going to have a better, I think we can all safely assume and say, 
Uh, he'll have a better gas tank than Francis and Gunn, no question about that. Um, and he's better than Stipe Miocic, in uh, my opinion. So Francis has a fight. They both have a fight in their hands. All right. Now, the, the X factor here is obviously Francis' power. That's the X factor. He can kill a man, truly, with that, with those, with those fists of his, he can kill a man. You know. Um, now, John is younger than Stipe was. Has a, you know, he's a better fighter than Stipe, in my opinion. He's, he'd probably beat Stipe. Um, so there is the unknown, you know, the, the territory of the unknown. He's never been a heavyweight. But, uh, you know, we've all heard stories. I'm sure if you're deep enough into this shit, MMA shit, that he's sparred heavyweights and given good work. He, he can body heavyweights and sparring. And yes, none of them are Francis Ngannou. I understand that. But he has fought heavyweights in, in practice, and he's done well. So let's get that out of the way, and let's give John some credit here. But Francis is hit so hard, I, I don't even know who to pick. You know, if I had to make a decision, I, I don't know. I truly don't know. And John's the best of all time. You know, so Francis is just a freak of nature. He's improving. Um, I don't know what to say. For now, since the fight isn't, isn't even official, I'm just not going to give a prediction. <laughs> It's, I need to, I need to be, I need more hope first, you know, um, before I give a prediction here. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. It was, it, this video really gave me some hope and hopefully it gave you guys some hope here and I hope you enjoyed my reaction as well as my thoughts. Um, if this fight happens, you know, as far as gate, it could be one of the biggest fights ever up there with, with Connor's fights, um, with Brock Lesnar versus Frank Mir and, you know, Diaz versus Connor, you know, like those fights up there as far as gate. And it's one of the greatest fights of all time. Um, at least as far as hype, uh, we're not going to know if it's one of the greatest fights until they're in there in the octagon. But yeah, guys, I don't want to rant on for too long. Um, I enjoyed this video. Like, like I said, if, um, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments and, uh, hope you enjoy my thoughts and the reaction to the video. But yeah, this is Jitter Gay signing out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.